So let's quickly go through. So what's the meaning? Okay. What's the meaning of four third of the six fifth? Fraction like this. Now, as I said, I want to develop in you this basic instinct. When you come across this, you don't say, what's the answer? That's not the, that's not the right answer or question. But rather, what is this? Right? What is it? So we first have to latch the meaning onto this collection of symbols. Then the next step is, well, I know what it is. Let me see if I can get a concrete value out of it. Right? So what do you think the meaning of this is? Well, I'm trying to think about when you say multiplication is repeated addition, but I'm not sure how you would relate it when you have four thirds. Exactly. Just say it. Because like what you were saying, like you were doing with the other things, was relating it back to the basic mm -hmm. operation. So I'm, but I'm not sure how to word that. But suppose I said, well, you go, go, go back to your everyday language, right? You bought a pound of cheese, six fifths of a pound, which unless you're crazy, you don't buy that kind of cheese. Right? But let's assume you're crazy. You're too much, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to give that. away? You want to give away? Well, That's four thirds is not good. Yeah, that, I perfectly, I, I ruined it. I mean, you cannot give away four thirds of it. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, let's hit you two thirds. Doesn't matter. So you anticipate that this is going to end up being two thirds of six fifths. All right. So what's made by when you normally say I have uh, a piece of cheese six, six, six fifths of a pound, I give away two thirds of it. What do you mean by that? What do you What do you mean by that? Give away two thirds of it. What do you mean? You divide it into three four pieces. And, and give two. away two mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And that's what should be your proper guidance. Okay. Because. Okay, let, let's write it down first and then we'll come back to color. Right? This is a concatenation <laughs> of two parts when six fifth is divide. Let's not say divide, it's partition. I don't want to use divide because that thing is loaded because in the context of multiplication, you say look at divide and you immediately think you yeah. start to get ideas, right? Mm -hmm. When you say um, concatenation came from computer science, when I say partition, do I have to say evenly partitioned, or can I just say partition? Uh, actually, I don't quite know. I think partition you know means uh, equal partition, no, I think. No, well, I would say partition six fifths into three equal pieces. Okay, yeah, yeah. Into, uh, equal pieces. Uh, okay. Into, uh, into uh, three equal pieces. Mm -hmm. Three equal parts. Oh no, yeah, I do say equal parts. Sorry. Yeah, equal so parts, it comes yeah. anyway. So okay, all right. I always say. Equal parts. Okay. So the so you, you agree this is the what you expect. So now that's the meaning. You have so so to speak, a segment. Six five. Okay. Okay. Fifths. I have divided. This in the fifths. Six fifths is what here, right? Yeah. So I know what I have to do is divide this. So I have this segment. I want to divide that segment into three equal parts. Or well, we'll partition it into three equal parts, right? Mm -hmm. then, then you take two. All right, now you do that. <laughs> <coughs> you want to partition it into three equal parts, how will you do it? Yeah? Uh, I feel like a ringer here. <laughs> you don't want to I would <laughs> partition. No, no. I mean, look at TV documentaries. Every time you hear a ringer, then it's your concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's what they say. Don't ever 
Anyway, but. <laughs> So, what do you want so to if I know that I'm partitioning it into three equal parts, mm -hmm. can't I partition each unit segment into three parts? Mm -hmm. So, because then I can well, take no, one. No, no, no. no, 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 no I purposely chose these numbers because it's pre divided into three equal parts. For oh, you. I see. So, okay. So, just one, two, three. There you go. So what's, what's this equal to? Now that I know that's what it's supposed to be, I can give you an explicit value. What's the explicit value? Mm. Four of the fifth, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which conforms to your, your prior knowledge, because what do you do? Three cancels six instead two, two times two is four, five, three, six, seven, eight. <coughs> Except that we're not relying on anything like that at all. Just exact definition and an exact value for you. Good? Right. Okay. Now, instead of this, now I say two thirds times seven six. Same definition, of course, right? So I just change it. Concatenation of two parts when seven fifths is partitioned into three equal parts. Right? So, so I, don't, I don't need to write it down. Right? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But now I ask, what is it? What is it? Now it's not pre-partitioned nicely for you. Right? So now my lady is going to tuck up and say, I know what to do, etc. So that's it. Yes? Do it. Yes, so now is when you can partition each one of those unit segments into three parts. So let's see, now let me change the picture a little bit. Right? So this is 75. And you want to divide this segment. Okay, let me put the segment here. This yellow, this brown, or little pink segment. This is funny color, isn't it? Orange. 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 Oh, that's what it is. Uh, but that's not very orange for me. It looks yellow. This you have to divide into the partition into three components. There's no obvious way to do it until you remember what Marlene just said, right? I don't have to do it the whole thing one at once, but what? Each segment you divide into three equal parts. Then what happens? Then it becomes twenty-one. Now you have this exactly twenty-one. This segment has been partitioned into 21 of, of what? Of 115, right? Correct? Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, of course, 21 of those things, you have 21 marbles, you want to divide into three equal parts. How many parts, are, how many parts you get? Seven. seven, right? Seven. So now seven, except it's not marbles, but seven of the fifteenths, right? So one part is seven of the fifteenths. One part, one part. Do you take one or what? Two. Two. Ah, so it's eight, fourteen of them, right? But you take one note, you say, am I writing the, are you, am I writing my result in the best possible format? Like this. Anyone wants to do it differently? Oh, maybe I don't make myself clear. Look at this. So a kid would say, that's a fluke. 
He just got it by luck. Maybe next time, if something comes, you never have to work all over again, just as hard. But suppose you write it this way. Just do that, what happens? It's okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Alright, you look at this. What does it suggest to you? Well, you say you're, you're, you're yeah, so. Just multiply. Just multiply. Mm -hmm. yes. So you don't have to think of it anymore. Exactly, right? This, this, the, this, the. This is the uh, most basic of road skills. Mm -hmm. When you mul multiply fractions, mm -hmm. don't think. Get the numerators together. Get the denominators together. That's what it suggests. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So people, you see, you see, this is exactly the reason you have been taught to think of division as the most difficult of four operations because multiplication is a piece of cake. Multiply numerators, multiply denominators, what else is there to think about? Mm -hmm. True. Sure. You do you see that simple only if you don't start with the definition. What is the definition? And from that definition you also step by step deduce it. Right? So now do you know, so suppose, so let, let, let right, so, now this is the so-called product. <coughs> this is the most basic part. Namely, M N over K L is equal to N K over N L. That's what makes that's the only good thing about fractions, meaning that that's the easiest to learn. No, minus, you understood.